Hello everyone, it's Paola and today for Theatre Thursday I'm sharing with you three books that feature musical theatre in some way or another. I also highly recommend these books, all three of them are fantastic and this is in no particular order, just the way that they popped into my mind. The first book that I want to talk about is of course Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Talley. This is the story of a boy who is developing an online relationship with another boy but nobody else knows until Simon's classmate sees the emails and starts blackmailing Simon into doing as he says, otherwise he's gonna let the entire school know and it's all about trying to be a good friend and be a good person even though you're not having the best of times. I don't know how to really explain it, but it's all about like discovering yourself and I don't know, I guess seeing and understanding what makes you happy and not let anybody else get in the way of that. It's a really, really, really adorable book, but it's not exempt of its hard conversations such as outing and homophobia, obviously. Also, I think the book is infinitely better than the movie. The movie is really, really good, not gonna lie, but the movie really missed the mark with Simon's friends. And here the musical theater aspect comes into play because Simon is part of the drama club and they are setting up a production of Cabaret. I think that when we were in the drama club with Simon, we could really feel a little bit more loosened up as opposed to other parts of the novel when we were always supposed to be uh, speculating who Blue is and, and getting a little worried about Simon's identity being outed. Next up, I wanna talk about Not Otherwise Specified by Hannah Moskowitz. This one is about a girl called Era who is bisexual and has just been dumped by her friends because they were all lesbians and they are really biphobic. So Etta doesn't have any friends anymore and she's also recovering from an eating disorder and she's well on the road to recovery. But the thing that stresses her out is that she wants to go back into ballet but ballet is precisely the thing that made her sick in the first place. So she joins, I don't remember if it's a dancing troupe or a theater group, but there she meets two siblings and she befriends them both. One of them is a young girl and the other one is a boy. I think he's the same age as Era. And the girl is unfortunately also really, really sick. I think, I think she has anorexia, but it's all about Era's recovery and her trying to figure out what her place in the world is, while at the same time dealing with the fact that one of her newest, closest friends is also really, really sick. I think the theater group in here also serves as a safe place for Era. I genuinely love this novel so, so much. It made my heart burst and it it just, I had never seen anything like it before. Um, it is own voices for the eating disorder and bisexual representation, so definitely check it out. And I particularly love this novel because it calls Rent out on its shit. I love Rent. I think it's a really cool musical, but I just don't think it's um, as brilliant as other people think it is. So I love that this book called it out for what it really is. And finally, the third book that I want to talk about is called Girls on the Birch. This one focuses on a subject that is quite taboo in society and it is abortion. So our main character is pregnant and she wants to get an abortion but her best friend doesn't really support that choice. Nevertheless, she still wants to do this for her friend. She doesn't want her friend to feel all alone and there's, I guess, a level of competitiveness in her because her best friend, the one who's pregnant, called somebody else. Neither of them really knew, but when something happened that I can't say because spoilers, our main character felt a lot more supported by the new friend than they did by their like original best friend. I love this novel. It's set in Texas and I just, I think it's a fantastic road trip story that involves theater 
and abortion and sexism and it has a lot of important discussions and it's not hard to read at all. The theater aspect in this book comes because um, our main character was part of a theater summer camp as well as the new friend. She was also part of the summer camp and she in fact has just come back from studying abroad. I think their theater camp focuses a lot on Shakespearean productions, which I find really fun. This is quite the intense contemporary, and I love that theater in this particular book gets treated a lot more as a way of life rather than just a hobby, and it features fantastic, fantastic female friendships both old and new. All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or if you know any other books that feature musical theater in some way or another. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.